What's up, everybody? TZ inside GB Elite with with Easy. Oh boy, we have our main inside GB Elite. We're getting ready for the big war tomorrow. We got a 25 from our clan, 25 from GB Elite. So combined war today. What we're doing is some some farming between the two clans, doing a bunch of raids between each other. So I got a bunch of really good replays from uh, some awesome raids. I mean, these things, uh, the first one is from Flex. Uh, what is that? 1.3 million? Where does he find these bases? I don't find them. He does, though. This is one of those dead bases that he found. He finds that he, he's in um, Master 2. I'm sorry, uh, Champ 2. And he still managed to find a dead base. I swear he must be living right. Anyway, what he does with this is he starts off with uh, Queen Walk. And he also has a Pekka Walk. And then he brings a bunch of giants in the middle. He rages the giants up, pushes into the core of the base, uses the spells real nicely, and within about 30 seconds, he's got the he's got the core taken out. Uh, the healers uh, are on the queen still, and I believe they're going to shoot into the middle of the base. Uh, and remember, this is a dead base, so the infernal towers aren't burning down. Um, I mean, he just manhandled space. And and for those of you that are looking at you know you, you you have to find these bases by hitting that next button a lot um, I know that a lot of people they, they go out on these raids and they don't understand why they can't find these awesome bases well because you haven't hit next 65 times like we have to sometimes I'm, I'm serious too now you, you might have to hit next 30 or 40 times before you get a base that is really suited for you and if you do what I've suggested in the past, uh, we're getting ready for a big war tomorrow. So we are using war troops for the most part. I mean, I was uh, the, in the raid I do uh, later on in this video. I'm using a war party. It, it costs over four thousand in dark elixir, so I have to find a base that's suitable for that kind of uh, that kind of army, because you don't want to lose resources when you're out resource hunting. And even though it's more than just going after the resources, you're we're also getting ready for the war. So, you know, we do that with each other, uh, attacking each other's bases, and, and also out in, in multi. So, um, hit that next button a lot until you find the right base. If you're lucky enough to find a dead base, especially up in the Town Hall 10 and 11 range, you might just find one of these 1.2, 1.3 million bases. So, great raid from Flex. He probably has a thousand of these. If we were to record every one, he's probably got about a thousand of them this year. I can't it's just unbelievable how many he gets but he, he's out there looking he's a full-time full-time farmer uh, this is Ezekiel notice that there's not damage ink written underneath that that is GB elite uh, this is the infamous bitch attack and for those of you wondering that's the bowler witch and uh, this is the attack that I'm going to try to use in the war depending on the base um, you know, if, if I have a ground-based base, this is, this is the attack I'm going to try to use. And uh, th this, there's several variations of this attack, but the basics of this attack is that you'll start off in the two corners with a couple of witches and a couple of bowlers, but about three witches in each corner and two or three bowlers on top of the witches. So you have a, a good group on, in, in two corners, and then you send the rest of the bowlers and a couple more witches down in the core, along with your heroes, along with the, along with your uh, clan castle troops. In this case, but the clan castle troops were giants. Uh, so I have giants, I have bowlers, I have the, the king, the queen. A couple of jump spells. Uh, remember, the bowler, bowlers, they because of their long range, it's, it's hard to predict where they're going to go unless you really direct them. Because they may lock on to something that you wouldn't expect because of that range. So help the bowlers go through the middle of these bases with the jump spells. And that will really add some predictability to the raid. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people think that you have to rage uh, on every spell. Bring five rage and one heal or whatever. Um, jump spells make it to where they don't have to chop at a wall. And these walls that have five, six, seven thousand hit points, it takes a while to chop through those walls. And when you put the jump spell in there and they jump right over it, that's, that's, a, that's just as good as using a rage spell, in my opinion. Uh, but not only do they get to jump over the wall the first time but they get to jump back over it a second or third time because this spell lasts 30 40 seconds 
So it's a very helpful spell. People, it's a, I think it's underutilized by a lot of the newer players. Next attack, Buster Cherry. This is a La Luna attack, and we're gonna see a lot. I think we're gonna see a lot of La Luna attacks in the war come tomorrow. Uh, it's probably the strongest attack in Clash right now. This is kind of a spammy type of attack where, uh, you, and you'll see that a lot on farm raids. Where you'll put a big line, you'll put the lava hounds in first, then you put a big line of of the of the balloons in, and then right behind them you put the minions minions in. That way, all of the troops can benefit from the spells. So you'll you'll hit a couple of rage spells, and the minions are in the rage spells. The the balloons are in the rage spells. Uh, he's got the warden. The warden is. A set on air so the walls don't well the walls don't affect the warden anyway but uh, the wards set on air so none of the um, ground based defenses can touch the warden it's following around and supporting supporting the balloons remember your warden does not attack buildings by it he will attack buildings but he's mainly going to support other troops so whatever the balloons are going after that warden's going after and he's just booking through this base just like the balloons are that was a that was a fast attack now this next one, too easy. This is a Town Hall 9 on a Town Hall 10. So, we don't see too many of these that, that end up going for 3 stars. Now this is, if I was to guess, this base has been attacked at least one time already. Maybe twice, because one of the Infernal Towers are dead. And, um, whenever you see, whenever you run across a base where one Infernal Tower is dead, um, there's a good chance that you m that the other infernal tower might run out in the middle of the raid. You don't, you know, I don't have really time to look at the crossbows and see if they're still loaded. I don't know if they run out in this raid or not. But this is such a strong attack. Now, now keep it, keep this in mind too. Yes, it's a town hall nine attacking a town hall ten, but the town hall nine and town hall ten balloons are the same. They're they're all level six. So the balloons that Too Easy has at town hall nine are the same that Easy has at town hall ten. What I like to do with this uh, Town Hall 9 attack, I like to bring 3 Rage and 2 Haste and 1 Poison, and I'm, I'm sorry, and 1 uh, Skeleton spell and a Poison spell in the Clan Castle. And I always like to bring the Skeleton spell because if the Queen is in the middle of the base somewhere, we you drop that Skeleton spell on the, on the Queen and try to time it with a, with a Rage, and that 1 Skeleton spell can take out the Queen. So it's a very helpful spell. Uh, it was one of those spells that came out and it wasn't used a lot. I, I put that in the same category as the clone. Uh, another spell that's really been underutilized and now, just now, six months later, people are figuring out how to use it and how it's a big asset. So Too Easy comes, at, comes across this Town Hall 10, wipes the whole Town Hall 10. Pretty good score too, right? Almost a million in this one. But what was good about it was the Dark Elixir was just at uh, just at five thousand. So that's a that's a big raid for I I think these uh, Lava Hounds um, at the level they're at for Town Hall Nine are three hundred and fifty Dark Elixir each. So you're talking about around a thousand in Dark Elixir and making over five thousand before bonuses. So that was a good score. Now. We've had some, uh, some, we just got a, a troop buff on all these different troops. It was the March update, uh, Dragon's got a buff, Packer got a buff, Miner's got a buff, Witch's got a buff. Uh, there's a new, uh, air defense for Town Hall 11. But, we also have some leaks coming out for the big update. Now, there's supposedly going to be a really big update. You have some of your bigger YouTubes like uh, uh, Galadon and, and uh, General Tony. They're talking about this. This clip right here is actually from General Tony's video. Um, who, by the way, is one of the guys I subscribe to. He puts out so much stuff. He, I think he does two videos a day. Um, really cool guy. I like listening to him. I, I like the information he has. He's really enthusiastic. So if you guys have never checked G General Tony out, go get, check him out. Um, anyway... He found this right here, and if you look at it, it says clan tournament and troop donation, yada, yada, yada. Well, uh, clan tournament, that might be something that's coming out. I, I'm thinking that the CWL, the, the the league that Powerbang is involved in so heavily that we hear so much about, and that's so successful, um, that might have influenced Clash to put some kind of tournament 
in the actual programming of the game that would be awesome uh, now this next thing I guess on the Twitter I don't know there's different Twitters for the US for England and, and this I guess was in Japan where they had airbrushed out or they photoshopped out they <laughs> they airbrushed <laughs> that's pretty funny uh, they photoshopped out uh, the, this little picture that was in the background and he had it circled and if you look real closely this is the shipwreck so we've already had a couple of videos uh, you know on this channel about the shipwreck it was leaked months and months ago and here it is again uh, being leaked and these aren't really accidents I think that when they leak them and then they take them off and, and they they fix the videos or they fix the images that just adds to the hype supercell is excellent at adding hype to their to all their stuff I think you can start uh, this next update we have a good chance of seeing this shipwreck. I don't know what kind of what it's going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be like some of their other games where it's just uh, pay resource to get better resources, or if it's going to be a troop thing or what. We'll find all that out. So this next attack is actually a war attack. We had a couple of war attacks. Um, we we actually I actually missed a war that they had against a CWL uh, clan and. It just so happened that the update came through, so I didn't get to get any of the attacks on it. This was the next war. There were several good attacks on it, but because this video was going to run long anyway, I just got two of them on it. This one was from KK Neon Knight. Um, he has some very unique attacks. Uh, this is one of the one of his unique attacks. Uh, it's it's got a Pekka walk in it. He always brings bowlers in the clan castle, and then he follows it up with the hogs at the town at Town Hall Nine. Hog riders are still very viable, and, and now after the buff, they're going to be even more so. So um, he he's really good at pushing his kill squad deep into the base, and he gets the kill squad so deep that he almost comes out the back end with it. Then he brings in the hog riders. He's got two or three heal spells left, and he's just a real patient uh, player when it comes to the deployment of the spells. Um, now hogs aren't the same as they used to be the the giant bombs don't hurt them times two So you can run over a giant bomb and it won't wipe them out so you can be even more frugal with your with your heal spells And he waits and waits and waits and puts the heal spell on last minute He could probably even he could probably even swag that one and, and got away with it, but uh, easy three star form tactically very very sound player <laughs> I, I love hearing him talk about how terrible he is, but yet I've watched probably 10 of his attacks and I think they've all been three stars except for one. So it's just terrible just missing one of those three stars out of the last 10 attacks. <laughs> so another good another good one, Neon Knight. Now this next attack is from uh, a very popular player in the clan and they said that I would never be able to play one of their attacks because they've never three starred or they or their tactics aren't good enough and it's one of those bashful comments that I knew that wasn't going to be factual but sure enough the next war that came along uh, got a th got a good three star attack wasn't the strongest base but uh, it doesn't doesn't matter uh, and another fairly unique uh, troop composition it, it, it was a Gola Loon. Got a couple wizards in there too. And this is from Boss. And uh, another really important player to this clan because she brings uh, an element of fun for everyone. Uh, and just uh, just w watching the clan interact with, with this player is, is refreshing because it's not always just all about the attacks and all about the upgrades and all uh, and all about the work that you had to put in to make this game and uh, you know to be a good player in this game it takes a lot of work but you have to have a little fun too and I think she brings that element of fun to her clan we have got we have guys and gals in our clan that do the same thing for us so it's refreshing to see that in other clans as well anyway she comes in here she the kill squad does real well she pushes the kill squad all the way into the core of the base uh, the golems are beating on the core right now and I believe she gets the golems into the core before she starts deploying the lava hounds and the balloons and then puts a one two lava hounds I believe in on that first air defense and this is gonna rage the balloons up over over it and it's you know if anyone's ever watched me on these videos I have a little teeny I think it's probably six by six screen that I have to watch while I'm actually doing the voiceover 
and uh, it's very hard for me to see. I've got to find a better way to do this. Mm. Anyway, a uh, couple of hay spells come in at the end. Brings brings in the minions. You know, the mi minions are a really big troop to bring in. Uh, as as your lava hounds are popping, which you know, re remember, whenever you're doing um, a raid with uh, the Laloon, you want those lava hounds to pop. If you if they don't pop and you have a lava hound out there in cleanup, you have a much smaller chance of three starring than if the lava hound pops and then you have all those pups. So brings in the minions too to help clean up. Really really good attack. I know this. You know we have you're gonna see a lot of bases out there right now. That main, they, they're gonna look awkward because they're kind of scrambling to try to figure out how to stop these air attacks. We've run into tons of bases that they just don't look very good. This base right here, look at it. I mean, this is a, you know, fundamentally not a very good base, but it was designed specifically to stop the air attacks. Didn't do that either. But you know, not all players are built the same way and have the same skill in building bases. I know that I've already put together a couple of bases that got completely smashed, and I I just knew they were going to do well. So these air attacks are just lethal. Uh, it's lethal for us to do them on people. They're lethal on us. So keep on making those bases. All right, end of the first video. We're gonna we're gonna have uh, s some gameplay from this war coming up. Um, where everyone's really excited. This is going to be a big thing for us. So stay tuned. Uh, next next video probably won't be till Saturday morning ish I'm not quite sure but um, you better believe you're gonna have a couple more coming out from the GB elite in the damage Inc war so everyone that's still watching appreciate you watching till the end if you haven't subbed to the channel yet throw easy a sub need, need, need the subs I appreciate everyone that has subbed so far like the video and uh, till next time this has been easy take care everyone